Well, I was born, I was born here in High Point in 1945, and uh, lived here all my life. Started to work for Drexel Heritage Furniture in, in June of 63, and right after graduation. I'm Kermit Pierce, and uh, I'm the Vice President of Manufacturing uh, for Jessica Charles Furniture. Bill Disk and Joe Sladen and myself started this company, which started out as Disk Furniture in 1975. I did all the uh, product development, made all the patterns, and made the samples, and Bill Disk was a sales handled all the sales and Joe Slade handled all the administration of the company. We were at times were producing 450 units a week out of the 20,000 square foot building, but it was a lot different than it is now because we did a lot of chairs of the same style. In other words, we had one customer that bought our product in boxcar loads and so <clears throat> it gave us an opportunity to produce several of one kind and we didn't have near as many options then as we did it was basically then just a chair you got it like we made it and we didn't we didn't vary from that very much but our our goal was to make the best chair that you could buy for the least amount of money in the in the industry. This is Rosa. She does the arm caps for each chair. <laughs> well, when we started in '76, we were we just had uh, I think four four employees other than the three of us: uh, Bill Disk, and Joe Slade, and myself. And we just grew from there. We hired more people as we moved along. And uh, at one time, uh, we had um, over a hundred people working for the company. We actually had to uh, sign people parking spaces because we were running out and people were riding around hunting this parking place in the morning. We've gotten more into doing work for decorators for. Uh, uh, interior design studio outfits and uh, our product today is a lot more specialized. It has a lot more of what the customer wants as a, from a designer standpoint. We do a lot more uh, uh, specials that are variation from our standard product and we'll make it any size or any shape if we possibly can. This is our card that we put with a chair when it's cut over in the cutting department. It has the cutter's name, the sewer's name, the upholster's name, and the trimmer's name. This one hasn't been trimmed yet, so it don't have a name there. So, so this goes with a card to the uh, consumer so they can see who actually made the chair. But we have a lot of good people in this company that know how to do a lot of different things and do it well. And uh, our, uh, our designers really look to us to do some things that they can't get done at other places. I think we'll continue to be known as the people who do the real special things. We have a, a special relationship with our dealers that they know they can come to us with this special request their customer wants and we can do it for them. And I think we have built a name that people recognize all across the nation and in Canada and some of the other foreign countries that our product goes into. And the name is recognized now as a quality uh, product that is not overpriced. We, we have come from the 20,000 square foot building we started out in leasing. To, we built this building in 86. Uh, 
we had the 37,000 square feet here then. And then we added 40, and we added 40 more thousand square foot onto it. We have a good work environment for the people, and, and that makes people want to put out a good product when they're happy. I just think that um, as you asked if I thought the future was bright for the company, I really do think it is, and, and uh, you know I'm getting up. I'm. I'm retirement age now, but I don't plan to retire because I enjoy working, especially putting out a product as we put out. And, uh, as long as I feel like I have the good health that I have now, and I feel like I'll stay with it and continue to enjoy doing it.